Hey there, welcome to Odonet. So I want to cover uh, some stuff going on with Dojo 2 at the moment. So Dojo 2 uh, is ramping up. Uh, they are on, I believe, uh, Beta 3. Uh, or Beta 3 is coming up pretty soon. But there's a lot of activity happening on Dojo 2. Right? They have uh, updated their website. They've got uh, some new tutorials up for state management, deploying, uh, routing, and so on. Uh, but one of the things I want to talk about today is something that's not a tutorial on yet, and some of this might change after I do this video, so bear with me here. But that is exporting your uh, widgets out to web components, right? So if you're not familiar with it, web components are a way for you to create these custom elements that look just like HTML, and uh, the spec is supposed to be able to just be able to import these elements and they will work uh, across all your applications, like magic, right? Everything is like magic. But what's really cool is that you can do this with the um, Dojo build tools that are part of Dojo 2. You create your widget, and you, just, you write a little function to export that widget as an element, you use Dojo CLI to do a, a build of that widget, and you end up with a series of files, your HTML, which is the widget uh, itself, along with the JavaScript, the CSS code, and then the um, vendor code from the uh, dojo library itself right and you just do something on your page that looks like this and all of a sudden this little uh, uh, dom element here is going to turn into your magic little uh, component all right so all right so let's get into it and just talk about stuff you have to do um, oh i should mention first thing you need to do is you have to use dojo cli uh, which i've already installed in my machine so go ahead and go ahead and install the dojo cli uh, again this is all uh, still under some development uh, so you see here we're at 2.0 beta uh, 2.3 all right, so uh, some things may change, and since I first started using uh, Dojo 2, things have changed uh, on me every now and then, uh, kind of uh, surprise me. But it's okay, it's cool. So let's do a uh, Dojo Create app, and instead of calling my web comps, I'm gonna call it the, uh, I'm gonna create a Twitter widget, and I'll call it the uh, Twitter comp. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let, uh, the Dojo CLI do its thing and create my application for me. Okay, so my application has been built. Let's go into uh, uh, Twitter comp and let's open up uh, Visual Studio Code here. This is how I write my apps now. And let's just look at the uh, some of the source code here for what a widget looks like. All right, so I'll make this font a little bigger for you. Okay, cool. So we've got our, uh, this is the widget that you get out of the box with uh, Dojo 2, um, right? It's gonna be, uh, if you not, don't recognize this, this is HyperScript. So it's uh, using a virtual DOM, um, basically maquette, um, to power building widgets in Dojo 2. And uh, what's really cool, and I kind of like using the HyperScript sometimes in this because it kind of reminds me of building out uh, data structures for the DOM instead of just regular JSX, where you have this HyperScript that's going to create this element of a div. The second argument is going to be any attributes to that element, including the class, class classes and stuff and whatnot. And the third argument is going to be any children of that element. All right, so... The element uh, tag, attributes for the element, and children of the element. And seven so array here, and you just do the same thing. I've got my image element, attributes that go into my image element, and again the second one here is going to be uh, the another child inside here. I got my div element. I've got the attributes to my div element here, and then the children of this is just going to be a string that says Hello, Dojo 2 world. So it's going to open up the terminal here, and we're going to run a Dojo build watch. When I run that, it's going to come on. It's going to do some magic in here. So let's go to my local host 99.99.
Now, there we go. So this is the default app that you get when you use the Dojo CLI to create your app. So let's go ahead and create our custom widget. And I learned this uh, by not, uh, uh, I learned this, I made the mistake here of trying to do stuff while the Webpack stuff under the hood was running and I didn't get picked up. So now I know it stopped the, uh, the watch and now start building stuff. So let's go ahead and we're gonna build a Twitter share button. So let's call it uh, Twitter share. Uh, make a little TypeScript file. Now, of course, I'm not gonna write all this stuff uh, in front of all of you. I have done it already. I'm just gonna copy paste stuff in, but I'll explain what I'm doing here. Um, so I'm bringing in the core pieces I need. So I'm bringing in the V method from Digit uh, Dojo Widget Core, uh, the themable stuff, the widget base, right? And then I've got this uh, thing here. I'm not bringing in my CSS stuff. Well, heck, what's going on there? I'll talk about that in a second. So then I have my interface for my widget. It's just going to have a property name called handle. It's going to be my Twitter handle. It's going to be part of this uh, widget. All right, so then I have my render method here. In the render method, I'm just going to create a button, and it's going to have uh, some CSS assigned to it. It has an on-click uh, action that's going to happen, and it's going to go to this method called this tweet, and then I'm just going to have the text tweet me inside of it. Not a big deal. And then the tweet method is just going to do a window open, and it's going to go to Twitter, and it's going to try and uh, make it so you can post a Twitter message to check out this awesome site at whatever the website is from whatever the handle name for the Twitter account that you provide to it is. And then blank, so it opens in a new uh, tab or new window, uh, however your, your stuff works. So, okay, so that's cool. But then again, we've got this little styles, Twitter share.m.css isn't working. What did I do? I broke something. Undo that, yeah. Errant copy pasting, right? So let's go in here. Let's create a new one. CSS file. In a second to come over here copy the CSS I have here. So, okay, so this is just some CSS I stole from somewhere else to uh, style a Twitter button. And if you look, notice here, we've got the Hello World CSS that we've got, but it's got this DTS file assigned to it. And that's what lets me go into Hello World down here and import my CSS. I don't have that DTS yet. So what do I need to do? Okay, I need to run build again. And once I run the uh, build again, it's going to go ahead and generate that DTS file for me, which is kind of cool. I think I just run build watch. I don't think I need to run a regular build. Let's see. Maybe I just have to run the build part. Okay, let's do that. Let's do build. I think just doing a dojo build will go ahead and create the DTS file for me. Come on. That's weird. This did this earlier. Ah, I think I have to actually use it. Okay, so. Okay, let's get back to this in a second. I showed you how to do this. Um, this whole way that CSS thing works is that it has this theme decorator and you're going to apply this CSS into your widget, which is really kind of cool. And then it has this themable mixin that you can use. This is what you're going to extend uh, the widget base based on. This lets you do all of this theming for your widgets. It's a really cool feature that they have as part of the Dojo 2 widgets. So let me go ahead and use this uh, widget now. Inside of here, second here. I'm going to go ahead and copy. Actually, I put it in Hello World. That's what I did. So if I go to the Hello World here, and I go to Hello World, I've got my code on here, copy. Let's go ahead and paste it in. So what I've done here is I've imported my uh, Twitter share widget or component, and I'm going to add it into here. Now, when you are adding your components as children of another component, you have to use another HyperScript method called uh, W. Um, I forgot what W does or why specifically you have to use it. I think it's just a way of being able to uh, render other components instead of creating a component from a string tag name, right? So the child under here, I removed hello world, and I'm going to go ahead and render my Twitter share button. I'm going to provide the attributes I need, 
which is my handle, right? These are the properties I'm sending to my component, and that's my Twitter handle. And then I'm not going to give any custom classes in here. Um, I'm sorry, no children for the, uh, the widget itself. All right, so save that. So now I do a build. I think because now that I used it in this file here, and this file here is being used by the main TS. Yep, there we go. Now it created my DTS. So that's what I had to do. So I have to actually, uh, it has to actually get picked up as a dependency from the main file that I'm building. So now that I have that, the little error that I had over here goes away. Because now I can bring in the CSS in here. And you actually see that if I do CSS dot, I've got the class name that I was using. Pretty cool. I'm, I really like that. That's neat. Okay, so now we've got that. So, okay, all this stuff, let's go ahead and run it. Um, let's do dojo build watch. And it's going, it's going. Okay, so now I can just go over here to this one. It's refresh. And you can see I've got a little tweet me uh, button over here. Come on. There we go. It opened up Twitter. And it wants me to post uh, on the Twitter. I will not post this on Twitter and spam everybody. So, okay, cool. That is awesome. So now, how do I actually create my custom component now? So what I can do is I'm going to go ahead and add a new module in here and source. And I'm going to call this module. This is important. So the module name, or the, I'm sorry, yeah, the module has to start with the word create then you have to give it the name of your widget, which is Twitter share. And then it has to be called element. Now, this is the format it has to use. I didn't think, I thought this was just a uh, recommended format to use for naming conventions of this method, but I actually do get uh, an error from the uh, build tools if I don't use this precise naming format. So let's go ahead and look at how this works. So what you're going to do is I bring in this uh, module called a custom element descriptor, right? It's a type and, or it's actually, yeah, it's going to be a type that I return and I'm going to import my widget. So I'm bringing in my Twitter share widget in from here and I'm going to go ahead and create this function, create Twitter share element. Now I need to give it a tag name. I want the tag name, which is going to be my component. Uh, tag name I'm going to use inside my HTML is just going to be Twitter share. The widget constructor is going to be the widget itself. So this is what's going to get nude up uh, inside my app. And then the, whatever attributes I'm going to provide to it, right? So the attribute name is handle, right? That's what uh, I'm going to use for my widget. So you're going to do something like, uh, just give me an idea here. It's going to look like uh, Twitter share. And then I'm going to say handle is equal to at Autonet. All right. So it looks something like this. Actually, yeah, that's right. So it looked like that. And then events names. Actually, no, I don't have any events coming out of my particular widget. But this is where you could put things, uh, custom events that you might have your uh, custom element or your widget uh, emit or use that you can listen for when you create your uh, custom widget, your custom web component, right? So I'll get rid of my events, I'm not using them. Okay, so let's uh, stop that. And let's go ahead and do, um, uh, what was it here? Dojo build um, element, and I've got in here. And then I'm, so you wanna use the um, argument dash dash element when you do the build and say that's going to be equal to whatever this function uh, module that you're using to just create uh, uh, element here, right? So I've got my create Twitter share element. So I run that. I'm going to let this build go ahead and do its thing. And then while that's happening, uh, actually, let's just see what, what it does. Dun -dun 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 Come on. You can do it. Awesome, no errors, All right? Cool. Okay, so I put my little uh, test app. I'm oh, sorry, put a little test page in here. So what I need to do, and this uh, uh, 
you nailed me for a while. I couldn't figure out what was going on. I need to put this native shim from uh, web components for custom elements in here, or else it's not going to work. Um, I had a lot of trouble with this when I first tried this. Trust me, just add this native shim in here and you'll be good to go. Um, then what you do is you add a link in here. It's going to import your HTML. Now when you do that, now this is going to work. So here's exactly what I did. I put a um, uh, my Twitter share button in here, the ID of Twitter. I give it a handle with my Twitter handle right here. That's all I got to do. And actually, I don't have any custom events coming off of this one. Uh, so I'm going to turn that off. Uh, or delete that part of the code, don't need it. Now, what I can do is I can come over here, just refresh it real quick so you can see it's there, and there's my component. All right, so let's go ahead and let's inspect that. If we inspect that, you can see that the Twitter share got turned to a button with TweetMe there, and it's going to scan tree like a regular it's a web component I'm using. I click that, and bam, it wants to go ahead and uh, share it to Twitter. I won't do that, so I don't want to spam everybody. But there you go. That's how you could use the um, web components inside of a, with your Dojo Build Tools to go ahead and create web components from your widgets. This has a lot of possibilities. It's pretty powerful stuff. Uh, it's a great way to be able to export these widgets out after you built them and then use them wherever you want to use them. Um, share them with as many people as you want. Uh, across all the different websites or any applications that you might be using. Really useful stuff here. And it's not uh, bound to, uh, you know, you don't have to stick with using it inside of a, it's not like React components where you have to use a React application to use it. Um, you no longer have to use uh, the Dojo 2 widgets to use this anymore, even though it does include the, the code for it. You can just stick this inside of any application that you want to use, regardless of what framework you might be using. That's pretty powerful and pretty cool stuff. At least I think so. So check out the documentation here. Like I said, the one thing that wasn't mentioned in the uh, the doc about doing the uh, web component stuff uh, was the um, this adding this native shim in here. And one second here. So yes, the one thing that wasn't mentioned in the docs that uh, threw me off for a while was uh, I needed to add this native uh, shim in here uh, to be able to get my web component to work. Um, so I don't know if that's just because uh, Chrome doesn't uh, full support them or not, or uh, there's some other stuff going on there. But once I did that, I was good to go. Uh, thanks to uh, Anthony Gubler, Gubler, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name there, uh, for giving me an example of doing the custom elements in uh, GitHub here. He sent this over to me uh, after I had some questions and showed me how to do the uh, elements and everything, and I was able to, uh, if I look over here, uh, I saw that he was putting in the shim here in his custom widget. So that helped me get things going a lot too. So yeah, I would check out this sample too that he just recently put up uh, if you're interested in looking at the uh, custom elements using the Dojo 2 build tools. Definitely highly recommend checking that out. Mm -hmm.